Absolutely appalled. Hypothetically, it could be close to 28 to 48. Still not really in contention as the Chargers misfortunes turn around and the Chargers get their first touchdown of the night and it is on defense. Wow. What a turn of events for the Chargers in terms of scoring. Took them about three and a half quarters, but the Chargers finally put some points up on the board. Austin Tiffany's kick is good. And finally the Chargers have something to be happy about, although this game is at Chuck Lower Field at Hummer Sports Complex. The Charger Nation still there, student section still filled with students. Exciting for them. But those four costly turnovers in the red zone, this game should be a lot different. Watch the rules game at Highland Park. That score was a victory for Washburn Rural, 45 to seven. Here's 48 to seven. That should tell you anything, but uh, really the score not accurately descriptive of how the Chargers offense has performed in this second half and primarily in the second or the second half more the fourth quarter as Palmer taken down He'll be quarterback keeper. Another quarterback. With under three minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. Resnick handing it off. Taken down 
behind the line of scrimmage. Resnick looking to pass. Incomplete. Arcing punt. Fair catch made by Montoy Perry. Reynolds handing it off. That was Huggis who gets the first down. Huggis again handing off to Huggis. Reynolds again handing off to Huggis. Reynolds hands it off to Huggis, will not get the first down with only 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. You might as well go for it on fourth and two. And Reynolds will keep it himself. He will get the first down. With that much effort put into that third down play with such short time remaining, you may begin to wonder that the Chargers are thinking of scoring again. Although that is not the case, as that's the game. Topeka West loses the second straight game, 
seven to 48. Chargers start out hot, 2 0. Stumbled out of the gate, Centennial League play, 0 2. Again, not too many positives you can take away from this game. Although, if the Chargers can close the gap and convert in the red zone, we should be seeing a lot more offensive success as the Chargers have been. Limited to below 20 points in their last two games and in conference play. This star trail will discourage them as they go into play at Manhattan. As we close out coverage, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Linden State Bank, for underwriting a portion of this production. We'll see you next time from Manhattan, Kansas as the Chargers try and turn around their slump.